Hey guys, it's Jeff from Fresher Luck, and I've just returned from Mexico, Mexico, and it was a beautiful trip, and it was wonderful, and I love Mexico, and I really love Mexican food. So I said, of course, I have to make some Mexican inspiration when I return. I'm also wiped out, exhausted, guys, like pooped over here, okay? I had a lot of traveling yesterday, and today's my one day to regain myself, so I want to make something that's really reminiscent of my trip, but it's also really very, very simple, and also incredibly delicious at the same time. We're talking creamy chicken enchiladas. See, si, enchiladas, crema de pollo, or something like that. But I'm telling you here and now, you guys are going to lose your minds over it. From the guy who brought you French onion chicken and hibachi fried rice and Jewish brisket, let's go to the Instant Pot and make some creamy chicken enchiladas. So we're going to start here by going to saute on our pot and we're going to select that. I'm going to adjust the temperature so it's on the low setting, select that, and then just hit start and let's wait for that to read hot. Now that we're reading hot, we're going to add in four tablespoons or a half a stick of salted butter and let it melt. Now that the butter is all melted, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of all-purpose flour. And we're going to whisk that together with the butter and it's going to form this lovely thing called a roux. Not roux as in kangaroo, the Australian way, but roux as in French, as in R-O-U-X. A roux, don't you feel so fancy like you're going to French culinary school? And as we continuously whisk our roux inside the Instant Pot, it's going to become thicker and it's also going to start to turn lightly brown in color. And once that begins to happen, we're going to start to add our chicken broth. Two cups of it to be exact. And to those of you who are familiar with my videos, it should come as no surprise to you that for the chicken broth, I am using Better Than Bouillon. This stuff saves you so much money in the long run. It's so much more convenient than regular chicken broth. Instead of having to pay 2 to $4 for four cups of chicken broth and then throwing it out because you don't need to use it all at once because it expires, this stuff lasts forever. It's one teaspoon of Better Than Bouillon plus one cup of water equals one cup of broth. I got this giant one at Costco. You gotta love Costco. They make it in beef, vegetable, chicken, lobster, tons of other flavors. If you can't find it in your supermarket, or if you don't have one at Costco, go to Amazon.com and find it. I'll link it in my recipe page. You can get it directly there as well. This stuff is great. And now to our chicken, because it wouldn't be creamy chicken enchiladas without chicken. I'm using thighs that are boneless and skinless. I highly recommend this because it's going to make it super moist and super tender. It's going to be perfect for the filling for the enchiladas. Um, you can use, you know, if you don't have skinless or boneless, that's fine. Regular is fine too. You can just take the bones out when we're done cooking. Or you can even use breasts if you like, but I do recommend thighs. So let's take these thighs and put them into the Instant Pot. One by one. And there we go. All of our thighs are in the pot. Let's put the lid on. Okay, we're automatically in sealing position here. We want to come down here. We're going to hit cancel and we're going to go up to pressure cook on the ultra or it's going to say manual on the duo series. Select that. Eight minutes high pressure. Start. You're all good to go. So while the chicken's cooking, we're going to take one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch and we're going to mix it with one and a half tablespoons of water and mix it around so it goes from a cement like texture to a nice and liquidy one. And we just finished with our cooking time, so let's do a quick release. Our pin just dropped, so let's take our lid off. There's our chicken. Let's remove it with some tongs. We're going to hit cancel on our Instant Pot when we're done cooking because we're going to want our sauce to come down to a decent temperature. We don't want it boiling just yet. All right, so let's take our chicken out and put it into a mixing bowl. So now taking two forks, we're going to shred our chicken up in the bowl. It should happen nice and easily. And it's okay if there's some broth and liquid in there. That's fine because it's just going to mix up in there and make it even more moist. And once we have all of our chicken nice and shredded, very good. Let's set it aside to cool because we're going to add some cheese to that. But we'll get back there in a bit. Let's focus right now on our sauce. Let's add in one cup of sour cream to the chicken broth. And the reason we took the heat off on the chicken broth is because we don't want it to curdle the sour cream once we add it. If it's too hot, it might want to do that. So while it's at a lower temperature right now, we're going to just whisk it together nice and lightly until the sour cream and the broth have melted. So it should really look like this when all said and done, okay? I'm also going to add in a seven ounce can of diced green chilies. You can use two four ounce cans if you can't find a seven, that's fine. I'm just going to put it with the juices in there. And I'm also adding a half a cup of crumbled cotija cheese. This is the same cheese I use for the Mexican street corn and the refried beans. And now let's whisk all that up nice and good together. Perfect. And one final step, we want to go back to saute and put it on the low setting. That's fine and hit start. And when it's about to bubble, let's pour that cornstarch slurry right into the mixture. 
And when our sauce looks like this, this consistency of not too thin, not too thick, but just right to cascade over enchiladas, we're done. We're gonna turn the heat off. We don't want it to get too hot. We don't really want it to boil, boil, because there's a lot of dairy in the sauce at the moment. So just set that aside. So now let's assemble our creamy chicken enchiladas with some tortillas. Now I'm using soft flour tortillas for this. These are small fajita size. For the one, that's how I like my enchilada size. You can go a size bigger if you'd like, but I'm gonna use the smaller ones or about you know the size of the palm of my hand or so. And um, use flour, don't use corn because it's a lot more of, it's a better experience, frankly. It's like, you know, corn could be a little tough and leathery in terms of making enchiladas. Flour is the way to go, fluffy, nice. All right, so let's assemble them. So I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. In the meantime, get a 13 by nine casserole dish or baking pan and then spray it with some cooking spray like Pam, nonstick spray. So I'm gonna take between two and three cups, you can pick how much you want, of a pepper jack cheese, a Monterey Jack pepper jack cheese, but you can really use any cheese you'd like. Make sure the chicken is cooled down for a few minutes because we're gonna mix the cheese in there with it and we don't want it to be super hot, the chicken, because the cheese will get all melty in there. So now by hand, we're just gonna simply mix all of this together and create our chicken filling. So it's everybody's favorite guy, it's Richard. And uh, Richard is going to now do demonstrate how we're going to make these. We're going to take about, use like a third of a cup for measuring cup, and then just take that, and then we're gonna just simply put it inside of our flour tortilla, and this is like the chicken and cheese mixture, as we said, and we're just simply just gonna roll it up, just like this, on the, perfect, and then just put it seam side down in our casserole dish. And we're gonna line this whole thing with that and repeat it. Super simple. Richard, you're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Ooh. And there we go. We squeeze 11 of these babies in there. You'll probably get about 10 to 11. That's why you really want to use the fajita sized tortillas. I highly recommend it. The 13 by 9 casserole dish. Perfect. Now, let's slather it up with that sauce. We even have a little bit of chicken left over, which is good. You could snack on it. All right, Richard, do us the honor of ladling that delicious, amazing, creamy sauce. Right, there you go. Right over our enchiladas. Basically, get it everywhere. We have a lot of sauce to go around. Get every crevice. Really do it up right. Outstanding job, Richard, again. You did great. Now we're going to top it all off with some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. I'm probably going to use almost all of this entire two-cup bag because you want to do it right, and uh, it'll give it a nice also color offset with that uh, Colby mixed in with the Jack cheese. And now just spread all that cheese pretty much all over the top of that delicious enchilada, creamy enchilada casserole thing we're about to make. You're going to love it. Promise. It's amazing. Ooh, ooh, great. So it looks just like that. Oh yeah. And now Richard is going to pop it right into the oven. And after 20 minutes, we're gonna come back to the oven. We're gonna take it out of there, carefully. Beautiful, oh yeah, look at that gorgeous, creamy chicken enchilada bake with all that cheese on top. All right, let's let it sit for a few seconds. And so now that we've cooled, we're going to take a spatula and carefully transfer. The first piece is always the toughest. Look at that, right onto a plate. Oh yeah, don't skimp me. Perfect, get all that cheese on there. <laughs> and look at that after cutting into it, how beautiful and cheesy our inside is with the chicken and Monterey Jack cheese in it, pepper jack. Just full of cheese, full of chicken, full of deliciousness, heaven on earth. Richard, take a bite. This doesn't get much better than that, guys. Let's try it out. Oh boy. Jeffrey's arrived at the party. Best part of the video. Here we go. Richard, did we just get back to Mexico or are we still in Mexico? It's unbelievably tender. It's unbelievably cheesy and chickeny. And that sauce, that sauce, oh my gosh. It's like the creamiest, most non-traditional enchilada you've ever had, ever. And uh, there's really nothing wrong with that at all, right? Mm. Richard, I need the maracas. There's only one way to sum this up. The chicken, it's really all about that thigh meat, I'm telling you, in something like this, in an enchilada. It's so moist and tender, it's just right, it's, there's no dryness whatsoever, and it pa paired with that amazing sour cream, cojita cheese sauce, and the Monterey Jack cheese mixed with... Oh. I'm hearing mariachi bands in my head right now, I am. I think this might be the next one to follow French onion chicken. I don't know, maybe, we'll see. So guys, thank you so much for all of your support and all of you watching this video. For more recipes like these, go to pressureluckcooking.com. I have an entire canon of them. They run the gamut from healthy to comfort, 
from vegetarian to carnivore. I have it all. Go to facebook.com slash pressurelawcooking for tips and for live video content weekly, um, pictures, everything. I'm very active there. Like the page. Go to my YouTube and my Pinterest. You can pin any of my recipes from pressurelawcooking.com to any board you'd like. So thank you again so much for everything. And I'm telling you right now, te amo Mexico. See. Sí.